Have you ever wondered how deeply psychology influences the educational landscape? Today, we delve into the myriad ways educational psychology enhances both teaching and learning, unfolding strategies that, when applied, transform classrooms into thriving educational ecosystems. First up, understanding individual differences. Every student enters the classroom with their own set of skills, learning styles, and personalities. A teacher who recognizes and adapts their instruction to meet these diverse needs can make a significant difference. For instance, while one student might excel in a lecture-based setting, another might thrive through hands-on activities. Moving on to the application of learning theories. Educational practices benefit immensely from behavioral, cognitive, and constructivist theories. Take scaffolding, inspired by Vygotsky's theory, where teachers provide successive levels of support to help students reach higher levels of understanding and skill. Then, there's the crucial role of assessment and feedback. Regular evaluations not only gauge student understanding, but also offer a roadmap for improvement. Imagine a math teacher who uses quick quizzes to identify concepts that need more clarification, thereby tailoring their subsequent lessons to address these gaps. Motivation and engagement are the lifeblood of a dynamic classroom. A teacher creates a supportive environment, perhaps using gamification as an incentive or promoting autonomy by letting students choose their project topics, thereby boosting engagement and motivation. Effective classroom management is also key. This involves establishing clear rules and using positive reinforcement to encourage good behavior and minimize disruptions. A simple technique like the three-strike system can effectively maintain discipline while fostering a conducive learning environment. Social-emotional learning should not be overlooked. Teaching skills such as self-awareness, self-regulation, and empathy can significantly enhance students' social and emotional well-being. For example, a feelings check-in at the start of class helps students express their emotions, which is crucial for their emotional development. Cognitive development is another cornerstone. Encouraging skills like critical thinking, problem solving, and metacognition can dramatically enhance cognitive growth. A science teacher might encourage critical thinking by asking students to hypothesize the outcomes of an experiment before conducting it. Learning strategies such as note-taking, summarizing, and self-questioning are invaluable tools. A history teacher, for example, might teach students to summarize key events from a lesson, reinforcing their learning and retention. Technology integration continues to redefine traditional educational paradigms. From interactive software to virtual reality, technology offers myriad ways to enhance instruction and engage students. A geography teacher might use virtual reality to virtually transport students to the Amazon rainforest, enriching their learning experience with immersive technology. Differentiated instruction is essential for accommodating diverse learners including those with disabilities or those learning English as a second language. Tailoring lessons to fit different learning abilities and styles ensures that no student is left behind. Formative assessments are pivotal in keeping a finger on the pulse of class progress. These regular check-ins allow for adjustments in teaching strategies, ensuring that students' needs are continuously met. Parent-teacher collaboration amplifies the learning process. Regular updates and open lines of communication ensure that learning is supported not just in school, but also at home. Cultural sensitivity in teaching practices fosters an inclusive atmosphere that respects and celebrates diverse backgrounds. Integrating various cultural perspectives into lessons not only enriches learning, but also promotes equity. Flexible grouping can be a game changer. By varying group sizes and compositions, teachers can cater to different instructional needs, from individual tutoring to group projects. Lastly, reflective practice is the hallmark of a conscientious educator. Regular reflection on teaching practices, informed by feedback, guides teachers toward more effective and responsive instruction. In summary, by weaving these educational psychology strategies into their teaching fabric, educators not only enhance academic outcomes, but also foster personal growth and resilience among students. The impact of these strategies reaches far beyond the classroom, preparing students for both academic success and life's myriad challenges.